Today, I'm going to talk about how to import AutoCAD files or DWG files into ARCHICAD with three methods. It is easier than you think. So hit the like button and let's learn, practice and share. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Math Tutorials. To start this tutorial, I just opened a blank project for the ARCHICAD. So I'm going to uh, delete these four uh, basic elevation lines by just hitting the delete on the keyboard and then it asks that if you want to keep the viewport of these four or not so i'm gonna mm, delete the viewpoints and delete it anyway the first method to import a dwg file into archicad is just by a drag and drop so uh, this is the file that i want to import to archicad it is clear that uh, I don't have AutoCAD on my um, computer, so I'm just dragging the file into uh, an open space in ARCHICAD. And uh, it will ask us that uh, on uh, what unit do you want to import the file? So here we can choose different units. Uh, I always put it on one meter and then I'm going to place it. And this is the first method. So here we can uh, select it we can drag it by Ctrl D on the keyboard, and then we can uh, put it on any place that we want. Uh, then uh, the good point is that ARCHICAD can read the points and uh, snapping to it. So for example, if I want to draw a wall, I can just snap it to the corners. And as you see, the cursor is changed when uh, it snaps to a corner. So I can uh, draw the walls like that, or even on this way. And I can go uh, so on. Also, uh, we can change the shape of this drawing by uh, clicking on this point. Uh, we could have these uh, six options. The first one is adjusting the frame by um, rectangular shape. So if I click it like that, uh, we could change the shape of the frame. Because sometimes when we import from uh, AutoCAD, this shape is uh, very big. So we can reduce the size by uh, using this option here. The next option is um, just moving this point. So I'm clicking on this and then uh, we have the plan like this. So I can uh, change the shape of this uh, drawing like that. The next option is uh, offsetting. We preserve the shape of the drawing and then we could offset it in the value that we want. The next option is adding or subtracting some space on the drawing. So for example, if I want to add uh, some shape here, I can do it like that and then we add a, a shape to uh, the drawing. Also, we can remove uh, some parts by uh, clicking on the subtraction and then uh, we could, for example, uh, remove any part that we want like that. Also, we have some other options by clicking on the edges of the drawing. So here we could add a, another node. We could uh, curve some edges and also we could add a, a node on this uh, curve. Then, uh, for example, we could uh, offset just one edge by uh, clicking on the, this option. So I can uh, offset only one edge and then the offset and uh, adding and subtracting is the same as I just explained. Another option that we have uh, with this method is when you're clicking on the drawing, uh, you can move uh, the drawing in this boundary that we draw. By clicking on this option, I can move the drawing to uh, another place like that. So the next method is, I'm going to delete this one and also these walls. On the file menu, we have external content and here we can place external drawings. So by clicking on that, I'm going to uh, select the DWG file that I want and I'm going to hit the open. Uh, it's going to ask uh, again the units that we want to import the file and then place it on any place that we want and the settings and modifying this drawing is exactly the same as the previous method. So I'm going to uh, delete this one and moving to the third method. So again, on the file menu uh, and on the external content, we have attach X reference. 
This option is for uh, situations that uh, someone else is working on the AutoCAD file and maybe in the future um, there will be some changes on the AutoCAD file and with this method you can just reload the changes uh, to the AutoCAD file. The other two options that I just mentioned, you cannot uh, reload it. You cannot have the changes that you had on the DWG file. So with this method that I'm going to explain right now, any changes that will apply to the AutoCAD file, you're going to have it in the ArchiCAD automatically. In this method and in this window, first we should choose the file that we want to import as a reference. So here I'm going to click on the file and then I choose the file and open. The reference type is for when we have another attachment to this DWG file that we are importing. And if we put it on the overlay, uh, we're going to have also those attachments to this file. So here I'm going to put it on the attachment. And then if we check this box, the origin of the DWG file and the rotation that it has will apply to uh, this import. Here, if we check the specify on the screen, we can select where do we want to put this uh, AutoCAD file on the drawings. And uh, the scale is better to be on the, the same. So it's one and one. And also we can apply the rotation if it needed. For the anchor point, as we had before on the, some elements in the ArchiCAD, we could select a specific point when we want to put it on the screen by ourselves. Then we could select the story that we want to put in this reference file. Then we can select the story level that we want to place this reference. And then for the translator, it is better to not change it uh, to any other uh, translators, except you're going to have a special translator for this purpose. Uh, I usually set uh, the settings for the X reference on the attachments, and I don't uh, want to specify the point myself. So I'm going to uh, put it on the drawing uh, origin, and then I'm going to hit uh, attach. It asks that uh, which layer do I want to be appeared uh, on the plan, and then I'm going to hit uh, OK. And the drawing will be uh, appeared as the origin point of the file. So when I select this drawing, it will import to ArchiCAD as a, a polyline. So we will see all the corners, all the drawing as um, lines. The advantage of uh, importing a DWG file with this method is uh, first uh, you can uh, reload the changes that someone made on the original file of the AutoCAD. And then uh, in this method, you cannot move or delete this drawing from here. So if I hit Ctrl D on the keyboard, uh, I cannot move um, this drawing. It will not apply to it. Also, if I hit the delete button on the keyboard, it's just going to deselect uh, the drawing because uh, in this way you cannot delete uh, this drawing. I'm going to show you how to uh, delete this one later. So uh, there will be no delete or move by mistake while you're drawing the plan or uh, changing something uh, on the plan. This drawing will be fixed on the same place as you imported. For reloading this drawing, you should go to File, External Content, and X Reference uh, Manager. Here you will see all the uh, reference files that you have on your project. So I'm going to click on it. And if there will be some changes uh, to the original file, I should just click on the Reload and uh, hit OK. It will ask again the layers that we want to be imported, and then I will hit OK. If we want to remove uh, the X reference, I should go again to the X reference manager. I uh, click on the DWG file and then I will unload it. And then I hit OK. Now we remove the DWG file uh, from our project. Also, if we decide to uh, import again, the same DWG file, we shouldn't import it again from the attached X reference. So uh, we should go to the X reference manager again 
and then we have the same DWG file that uh, we imported before. So now the status says that it's unloaded. If we reload it again and hit the OK, it will ask the layers that we want. And if I hit OK, we can see the DWG file again. So during designing in the plan, if uh, in some point we needed to you know, remove this X reference temporarily, uh, we can uh, do this in this way. Well, that's it for this tutorial. And if it was uh, informative for you, uh, please hit the like button. Also, if you have more questions about working with uh, X reference and importing from AutoCAD to ArchiCAD, please write it down on the comments. I will read all your questions and answer it immediately. If this is the first time that you are watching my tutorials, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. There will be many more tutorials that uh, I want to talk in uh, ArchiCAD and maybe other programs. So, see you on the next video. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.